Hi guys, it's Sherry. I hope that you're having a wonderful day. Let's make something really pretty and really pretty simple. Y'all stay tuned. Okay, so if you've been watching me for a while, or even if you just started watching me, you know that there are several things that I love to make. I love to make boxes, bags, and paper purses. Those are my specialties. And then I love to design unique desk type boxes. But the first three that I gave you, those, that's my passion. And today's project is one of those. It is this absolutely stunning paper purse. Look at this thing, guys. It is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And I designed this so that it could be multifunctional, but the main reason that I designed it is I have been making paper purses for candies and gift cards and other whatnots, and this is fine for that as well. You can put a gift card in here you can put candy in here. This so is certainly suitable for a lot of different things to go inside. But my main reason for making this is sometimes you just want to give cash. And what better way to give cash than in a cute little paper purse complete with feet. So we're going to make this out of one 12 by 12 piece of paper and then some scrap paper for the sides. And I am going to show you guys just how simple it is. Okay, so to make our purse, we are going to start with one piece of paper that measures 12 by 11 and a quarter. And on the 12 inch side, we're going to score at three. And then we're going to rotate it and score at three again. And the reason why I rotate it is because sometimes our papers aren't true 12 by 12s. And when that happens, if you were to score at three and then move over and score at nine and you don't have a true 12 by 12, then you could run into a problem with your scores. Okay, so then I'm going to turn this over to the 11 and a quarter inch side and I'm gonna score this at four, at five, at nine, and at nine and a half. And then we are going to fold and burnish our score marks. Okay, so once we have our scores folded and burnished, all we're going to do is on the side where we've got the two three inch panels, we're simply going to fold those in and we're gonna close this with glue. So I'm just gonna be really generous with my glue And if you use um, a nice weight of paper, then the glue is not going to have any effect at all. And this paper that I'm using is a hundred pound weight. So then I'll take this and I'm gonna do the other side. I'm just gonna make sure I've got my edges glued very well so this will stay stuck down. And then I'll bring this over. And this is giving me a lined purse on the inside. It's just a great way of using one sheet of paper to have a fully lined purse. Okay, so then I'll take my scores and just go over those with my bone folder just to reinforce them back into place. And you can already see we've got a cute little purse shape here. It's really sweet. Okay, so then we need to make the sides of our purse. And to do that, I have two pieces of paper that measure two by four and a quarter. And on the two inch side, I am going to score this at half an inch, at one, and at 
two and a half, or one and a half, I'm sorry. Then I'm going to turn it to the four and a quarter inch side and I'll score this at half an inch. Okay, and then I'll fold and burnish my scores. So when I had it in on the two inch side, I basically took my scores and I'm doing like an accordion fold. So basically what I'm doing is we have these two little corner pieces right here at the bottom and I'm just removing those. All right, so then once we have that done, we can bring in the body of our purse and this is going to match up right here. So I'm going to take this piece and match it up right there. So I'm gonna come back with just a little bit of hot glue and I'm gonna put some hot glue on this. And then I'll take this piece and I'm gonna get it down, turn it over so I can make sure that I've got everything positioned just as it should be. So basically what I'm doing is making sure that the score mark here is lining up with the score mark here. And then I'm going to put glue on the other piece. And I'll get this in place, get it stuck down, come back with my bone folder and get that nice and stuck. And now I'll basically take this and glue it to the side. And because it's such a small piece, I am just going to do it with wet glue. If this was a large purse, I would use hot glue, but it's not. This is gonna dry pretty quick. So I'm sticking it down and then I'm going in with my bone folder and just smoothing that out, just like that. And then I'll come over to this side and do the same thing. So I'm gonna place my glue, put this up just like this. And then I'll just come back with my bone folder and get that nice and stuck. Then because I'm dealing with a small purse, I can go ahead and place my glue on both of these. bring this up and then just get this stuck. And guys, these little purses make great little craft fair sellers. People love creative ways of gifting cash or other things that, you know, they might be giving. And this little bag certainly fits the bill on that. Okay, so we're gonna let that dry. And while, that, and while that's drying, I'm going to bring in two strips that measure six by three and a quarter. And simply score down the middle. Thing. And then I'm just going to fold and burnish this. And I'm just adding a pop of color to the bag and then I'm going to take some glue and then I'll get this stuck down so I'm going to stick it on the front piece first end to end Then, if I need to trim any off I will I'll lay this down go over it with my bone folder a couple of times back with my scissors and trim off this excess Then I'm going to go ahead and just trim off a little bit of this now and then I'll go ahead and place my glue on this and then I'll take this and just put it down here just like this and I'll come back on the inside with my bone folder and help this to stay stuck down.
because I am going to use Velcro to close this. And the way that I want this to work is I want my Velcro dot, the rough side, to be on the bottom. And the reason why I put the rough side on the bottom is because when we're lifting this up, if the rough side was on the top, it might want to pull up the softer side here. But, but with the rough side being on the bottom, I haven't found that to be a problem for me. So I am going to take this, place it down, just like that, and that's my soft side. And then I'm gonna bring this up, get that stuck down, and then I'm gonna lift it up, and I'll come back and just really get that stuck. And I'm gonna turn this over to get that really stuck down. So now when I put it down and I open it up, it should open with these. All right, so the next thing that I want to do is my handle, and I have a strip that measures one by 10. So I am going to score that on the one inch side at one and a quarter, and then I'm going to turn it and score it at three eighths. And then I'll take it and just fold it on my score marks. And I'm gonna burnish that. And then I'll fold this one. All right, so then I'm going to take my glue and just put it on one third of this. Then I'll get this folded over and stuck down. I might have to go over it a couple times. And then I'll put glue on the remaining one third. And I'll fold that over. And I'm gonna get this stuck down. So then I'm gonna take it and run it along my desk. And I'm running it along my desk to help it curve. So then all I'm going to do is eyeball it from the end. I'm coming up about half an inch. I'm not even measuring. Just like that. And then I'm going to take this and when I put it on, I want to put it on so that I have that little curve in the top. So at this point, I'm gonna take just a little bit of hot glue, put that hot glue down and then I'll bring this in just like this. And then when I bring this one in just like that, it's gonna give me that cute little curve that I like on my purses. So I'm gonna put a little bit more glue on the other end. And we're gonna get this stuck down. And there, we've got a cutie. And so now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and just add some feet to this. You don't have to, I just like to do it because I think it's just a way to give our paper purses more of a little authentic look. So I'm just taking some flat back pearls and I'm placing them close to the edge but not close enough that they hang over. So just like that, and I'm gonna stand this up so that this can start to catch and dry. And I'll move it out just to make sure they're nice and even. Okay, so we've got a purse. So the last thing that I want to do is take this cute little ribbon and my cute holiday sentiment, and I am simply going to place some glue on the back of that Take that and pop it up right there. Then I'll place some glue on the back of my bow. And I am going to take that and place it right up there just like that. Okay, and there's one more little last step. So I want to place a little dot right there because I wanna take these little black flat backs and just place them right there, they're gonna dry pretty quick. That's not black. Okay, that's black. And I'm gonna place it right there and they're going to dry and set up for me real nice and real pretty. 
All right, guys, so just look at this. These are absolutely gorgeous. I don't know about y'all, but I love making paper purses. I love giving paper purses, and the more realistic I can make them look, the better. And I think these certainly fit the bill. They are so gorgeous. What a great way to give a gift of cash. Who wouldn't want to get this purse? And then the cash, yeah, that's a bonus. But this purse, this is wonderful. So I hope that you have liked this project. And if you have, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join my online crafting family. You guys have a great day. Happy crafting. And we'll chat later. Bye.